Hi, this is Doug Childs, and this is 10 Ways Women Can Wreck Their Marriage. If some of you ladies want to know how you can suck the life out of your marriage and uh, drive your husband to a divorce attorney or to the arms of another woman or to uh, the bar on a frequent basis, or if you want to shrivel him up to a shrunken little quail who inwardly loathes you as he goes through his drip, 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 tedious existence, then ladies, this is your lucky day. Here are 10 surefire principles that'll make your husband more miserable than Donald Trump forced to watch Rosie O'Donnell river dance naked. Number one, nag your husband. Yeah. One way to torture a hubby is to be a nerve grating, contentious, non-stop dripping faucet of blame. Number two, criticize him in public. Listen ladies, you gotta become an expert at unveiling anything about your spouse that'll cause him to want to jump in front of a moving bus. Yeah! Number three, keep him on a short leash. Check it out. By short leashing your mate with insane limits, your man will quickly feel like a stupid son. Yeah, controlled by you, his new petulant mommy. A boy's best friend is his mother. Number four, become a drama queen. Make the atmosphere of your house tense. Make it tense. Make it crazy. Number five, hate his friends. Sever the ties your companion has with those who have walked to hell and back with him because now it's all about you. Oh yeah, it's all about you. You especially want to steer him clear of his friends who uh, do this. They feel the liberty to shed life on the wife. Number six, hate his hobby. Your goal is to steal joy and any pleasure that can be had by the poor schlep who's married to you. And anyways, um, you don't want him to enjoy anything that you don't like now, do you? You all gallivant with your fancy foosball friends at school while I'm sitting here all day with nobody to keep me company except Steve? Number seven, cut him off sexually. You know, it's not enough to rag and ridicule and then run his friends off. <laughs> no, you must go the second mile and turn into the sex Nazi. Nothing for you. Number eight, get your family involved in your marriage. You know, forget this leave and cleave crud from the Bible and what it dictates. If you want your union to unravel, here's what you gotta do. You've gotta gang tackle him with the family. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? Number nine, never apologize. I mean, never. In the odd event that you do do something wrong and it hurts your husband, never, and I mean never, ever apologize. <laughs> Please. Number 10, do we really need a number 10? No. And with that, I'm done. This is Doug Giles. You just got 10 ways women could wreck their marriage. Stay tuned next week for 10 ways husbands can waylay their wedding vows as well. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Oh, subscribe to ClashDaily.com for news, action, attitude, and opinion, and a fresh video by little old me. And uh, let's see what else. you got to check out my books, especially Raising Righteous and Rowdy Girls. Peace out. Look at me, I'm so pretty. I'll cut my veins! I swear to God, I'll cut my veins! <laughs>